SpaceX, the company founded by Elon Musk, has had a busy few years, with successful launches and landings of their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as the development of their next-generation rocket, the Starship. In 2022, SpaceX broke the record for most launches in a calendar year by a single rocket type by successfully launching 61 Falcon rockets into orbit. According to Elon Musk, the record launch cadence will be broken once more in 2023, with as many as 100 launches anticipated. Though Starship, the successor to the Falcon family of rockets, did not launch last year as anticipated, the rocket is still on schedule to make its first orbital test flight this year. Altogether, 2023 is expected to be just as groundbreaking as 2022 for SpaceX. Let's take a look at the exciting SpaceX missions to look forward to over the next 12 months. SpaceX has five human space missions scheduled to launch this year. On February 19, a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft will launch from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A, carrying four people to the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. The SpaceX Crew-6 mission will feature two NASA astronauts, an astronaut from the United Arab Emirates, and a Russian cosmonaut. If everything goes according to plan, SpaceX will launch the Polaris Dawn private human spaceflight mission in March 2023, on behalf of Shift 4 Payment CEO Jared Isaacman. The crew will consist of Jared Isaacman, Anna Menon, Sarah Gillis, and Scott Potteet, who will spend up to five days in orbit. Reaching an apogee of 1,400 kilometers, the mission is anticipated to break Gemini 11's record for the highest Earth orbit flown by a crewed spacecraft, set in 1966. During the mission, the crew will perform the first commercial extravehicular activity with SpaceX-designed EVA spacesuits, as well as 38 science and research experiments. Polaris Dawn will be followed by Axiom Mission 2, Axiom Space's second fully private Crew Dragon mission to the International Space Station. Peggy Whitson, a former NASA astronaut, will lead the crew as mission commander, and John Schaffner will serve as the pilot. According to reports, Saudi Arabia purchased the last two seats for the trip. Axiom Mission 2 will be followed by Crew 7 and Axiom Mission 3 to the International Space Station, both scheduled for late 2023. In addition to the crewed missions, SpaceX will launch four commercial resupply missions to the space station this year. Three will be cargo Dragon flights, and the fourth will be a Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo mission. As the Antares 230 rocket that carries the Cygnus spacecraft to the space station is retiring in March, and its successor, Antares 330, won't be ready for flight until late 2024, Northrop Grumman bought three SpaceX Falcon 9 launches last year to continue Cygnus missions. Two Nova Sea lunar landers will launch this year on Falcon 9 rockets as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program. The landers, designed by Intuitive Machines, will deliver small commercial payloads to the lunar surface to explore and test technologies to process the natural resources of the Moon. During the first mission planned for March 2023, Nova Sea will carry up to five NASA payloads of up to 100 kilograms, as well as payloads from various customers to the lunar surface. The lander will operate for one lunar day, equivalent to about 14 Earth days. During the second mission planned for mid-2023, Nova Sea will carry NASA's Polar Resources Ice Mining Experiment 1 to the lunar surface. Prime 1 will be the first lunar on-site resource utilization demonstration mission, which will also robotically sample and analyze ice from below the surface. NASA's Lunar Trailblazer Orbiter, which will detect and map water on the lunar surface, will fly as a secondary payload on the mission. In October, SpaceX will launch the Interplanetary Psyche mission for NASA atop a Falcon Heavy rocket for a six-year-long journey to 16 Psyche, a unique metal-rich asteroid that orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. During its 21 months of science, the Psyche spacecraft will characterize the asteroid's geology, shape, elemental composition, magnetic field, and mass distribution. This mission is expected to increase our understanding of planetary formation and interiors. In the third quarter of 2023, SpaceX will launch Euclid, a visible-to-near-infrared space telescope currently under development by the European Space Agency. The objective of the Euclid mission is to better understand dark energy and dark matter by accurately measuring the acceleration of the universe. About 68% of the cosmos is made up of dark energy, dark matter makes up about 27%, and the rest all normal matter adds up to almost 5% of the universe. While dark energy accelerates the expansion of the universe, dark matter governs the growth of cosmic structures. By observing the universe evolving over the past 10 billion years, Euclid will reveal how it has expanded and how the structures have formed over cosmic history. The telescope's operational orbit is the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2, located at an average distance of 1.5 million kilometers beyond Earth's orbit. 
It will make a 3D map of the universe by observing billions of galaxies out to 10 billion light years across more than a third of the sky. A significant number of second-generation Starlink satellites will fly in 2023. According to SpaceX, the Starlink network now has more than 1 million active subscribers. The Starlink V2 spacecraft will help reduce network stress caused by rising consumer demand and improve coverage over lower latitude regions. According to the latest available information, the Starlink V2 satellites come in three different variants. The first variant is similar in size to the version 1.5 spacecraft, which is suspected to be the satellites launched on the Starlink Group 5-1 mission on December 28. Another configuration includes the Starlink V2 mini variant, which can still fly on the Falcon 9 rockets, but with fewer satellites on a given mission. The larger 7-meter-long spacecraft designed solely for Starship flights are included in the third configuration. On January 3, SpaceX launched its sixth transporter SmallSat rideshare mission, putting 114 satellites into orbit. Three more rideshare missions are scheduled this year. The Falcon family of rockets will also launch several Earth observation, communications, internet, and military satellites in 2023. The most exciting SpaceX mission of the year will be the much-anticipated Starship orbital flight test. Starship is designed to be a fully reusable orbital rocket that can be used for satellite deployment, space tourism, and interplanetary missions. SpaceX has conducted five low-altitude Starship flights so far and is getting ready for the inaugural orbital flight. The prototypes currently planned for the mission are Starship 24 and Super Heavy Booster 7. SpaceX tested those spacecraft multiple times last year, and the vehicles are currently undergoing final preparations at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. The three key milestones left before the orbital flight are the 33-engine static fire test of Booster 7, a full-stack wet dress rehearsal, and getting a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration. The Starship orbital test flight will originate from the Starbase launch site. About 170 seconds into the flight, the booster stage will separate and perform a return and landing in the Gulf of Mexico, approximately 30 kilometers from the shore. The orbital Starship will continue flying and achieve orbit until performing a powered targeted landing about 100 kilometers off the northwest shore of Kauai. If all goes according to plan, the test flight will take place in the first half of 2023, with crewed flights potentially following in the years after. Altogether, with as many as 100 space missions, including Starship orbital flights, 2023 will be an exciting year for SpaceX and space flight enthusiasts worldwide. I will be creating weekly content that will track the progress of all those stories, among other things. So, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And do not forget to leave your thoughts on this year's SpaceX missions in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.